awake, free, and ready community. Awaken your soul, free your mind, and get ready for what's next. History is written by the victor. History is filled with liars. If he lives, his truth becomes written and ours is lost. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Cathedrals, churches, basilicas, mosques, and temples. Those grand structures in the heart of the cities and dot the countrysides of our realm. These fascinating works of art draw tourists in droves throughout the year. Perhaps you've been to a few and got a bit of history and took a few snapshots on your tour. But have you really taken a look at these grand and majestic structures? I mean, really taken a look. Whether it's Europe, Asia, North America, these beautiful feats of architecture and design are not what you've been led to believe. Join me as once again we jump down the rabbit hole and uncover the truth of what these structures of the old world were really made for. So buckle up and put your magic glasses on. What are you going to do? I am going to get to the truth. You'll be looking at the world with a new lens, and you may never see your reality in the same way again. Our first stop takes us to Roslyn, Scotland, and the Roslyn Chapel not far from Edinburgh. I know this is only a church, but it is a micro version of many of the larger cathedrals. Roslyn Church was allegedly built in 1446 by Sir William St. Clair and is what history tells us is of a Roman Gothic design. It was said to have been in ruin and rebuilt several times. Here, I'll share with you some startling elements that are unique and fascinating. For that, we have to go inside. At first blush, it looks like a typical chapel on any tour brochure. However, it is up high beyond the arches, where the wonder truly lies. Within its 14 arches are stems, on which are these curious cubes and receptacles. In fact, there are over 215 of these cubes, but the wonder doesn't end there. Each cube has one of 13 unique geometric etchings, a carved series of lines and circles. Researchers realized that these were not random carvings at all, but the depiction of a very exact science, the science of somatics, patterns created by vibration and frequency. In short, it is the geometric or physical expression of sound. This entire structure was created to be a harmonic focal point, to sing. Researchers were able to find the tone of the church, and they also believe that each cathedral has its own musical signature. Architecture is, in essence, frozen music, and music is liquid architecture. The architecture and music follow the golden ratio the geometric blueprint in all of nature to express harmony. Now, do you believe a few tradespeople and peasants over 500 years ago just randomly came up with this idea and ran with it? Who are these amazing artisans that could create such a masterpiece? And what about these curious nodes in the arches? They look like they were some kind of tech to direct sound. Perhaps a therapeutic healing energy beam was created. 
based on the architecture that far surpassed the intelligence of the period, could it be that these incredible buildings were not churches from the old world, but were repurposed by religion to hide their true utility? What if these cathedrals and churches and temples were in fact the great engines of the old world? Using free energy tech of sound and vibration, able to harness the power of the ether and transmute it into energy to not only power the city, but to beam out healing energy to the community. The technology in the architecture is mind-boggling. From three-dimensional acoustic panels to pillars, beams, and arches that all follow sacred geometry, to such exacting specifications that make every inch of the structure part of the great machine. All aspects of it are connected and have a purpose. This level of structural mastery can't be matched with today's technology. And yet, we have been told it is only for worship, weddings, and funerals. Any harmonics and frequency are purely coincidental, and the design and craftsmanship is just ornamental and common for the time. Not a chance. These buildings were made for so much more. I invite you to look closely at the buildings with new eyes. See the glorious majesty, strength, and beauty in the design. Imagine this was the engine of a city of the old world. erased from a history that was more advanced than today. Imagine it was the heartbeat of a culture. Imagine the minds that brought it to life. But how was this done? Now, sadly, we don't have all the answers, but they did leave us clues. Knowing that sound, music, and vibration are universal, some of the most ornate and beautiful pipe organs could have been utilized to bring forth the resonance needed. Yeah, pipe organs as technology. The engines then magnified the tones and beamed it out through the portals. Oh, yeah, you thought they were just pretty circles of glass. Hmm. Look closely, my friend. Remember, you have your new glasses on. These were not just circular windows made to make the building look nicer. No. Just like every aspect of these structures, these circles are portals. Their design is purposeful and exact. Back when they were used, there was no glazing. The glass was installed later, after the reset, when the churches took possession. Notice, they are somatic patterns, each designed with a specific tone assigned to it. Are you starting to see something that was hidden in plain sight? When you see it for what it is, the structure takes on a beauty and wonder that humbles you at your core. What might these portals remind you of? Let your imagination take a walk.
Now, remember those stems with the cubes on the arches of the Rosalind Chapel? Well, take a close look at what most spires are adorned with. Are they really spires for decoration on a house of God? And perhaps bragging rights for the tallest building in the land? Or is this Antiquatech built to harness the energy of the ether? You have to admit that that is some incredible tech for something allegedly built centuries ago for worship and to just look pretty. But let's move further around our realm. This is a temple in Japan, near one of today's high-tech signal towers. Wait a minute, what's that on the roof? That's not purely ornamental. That's technology hidden in plain sight. The symmetry and design is even familiar today. There are structures where the focal point is designed to look like a pine cone, which is actually the symbol of our penal gland, critical in the function of your third eye activation and higher levels of consciousness. When you look at the beautiful architecture with new eyes, it's hard to see a place of worship, but instead that of a power plant or energy center. As much as organized religion took over the identity of these old world structures, humanity was getting more and more advanced and connected. It was getting more and more difficult to hide the truth of these engines and the true magic and mystery they hold. The system then created a plan to erase the history. Check out my videos, Stolen History and Leveled Cities, for more details on that. I'll post a link in the notes. What the controllers did to erase the history was through wars to destroy the evidence of the old world. If they couldn't completely destroy it, they would burn it down and blame it on an accident. And in later years, have you noticed that many old world buildings have gone through extensive renovations? In some cases, completely shrouded in scaffolding for months, if not years. And sadly, the renos are not about bringing it up to code, but systematically removing what was left of the old world tech and dropping the frequency of the harmonics in the process from a healing energy to a hurting energy. Yes, the Luciferian cult does not want us to have any access to the old world wonder and power. Today, most of the skyline looks as majestic as ever with these glorious remnants of the old world. However, they are now just there for show their soul stripped and removed decades or centuries ago. Their secrets and their lore have long faded from a world too busy to even notice. However, as humanity awakens, the mystery and magic of their spirit will live on. Perhaps one day we will be blessed to hear the song from the engines of the old world made new again.
Break free and join the Awake, Free, and Ready community. Awaken your soul, free your mind, and get ready for what's next.